this week, we're bringing you the biggest game. And the new Elder Scrolls is the definition of big. I'm so excited. Skyrim gives players over 16 miles of land to cover. There's danger around every corner. You know, like huge freaking dragons. Scary dragons. Let's get an exclusive look at the game. Yes. The next chapter of the Elder Scrolls series is game director at Bethesda, Todd Howard. I don't even actually know where to start because I have so many questions, but... Um, it's that big a game. Maybe we should start with just finding out what you brought us today. Uh, we're giving uh, your audience a big sneak peek. We have a 30-minute demo we're showing in private here at E3, but we're going to give you guys a really, really big chunk of it. Um, this is Skyrim running on the 360. We have a brand new engine we've written for the game, all new graphics, all new gameplay. We just try to make a big, crazy role-playing game with as much stuff as possible in it, just overwhelm you with detail. I mean, obviously, A, I would not have thought the 360 when I first looked at it, but I'll take your word at it, Todd. <laughs> um, I mean, what have you done that's less apparent with the graphics engine and the way that you presented the game? It's, you know, for us, all the little things that you're seeing here, like plants, micro detail, big epic things like mountains, you can walk to the top of that mountain. So we really deal with levels of detail, streaming that in. We have to draw everything. We can't hide it. Um, you know, being able to look at all these plants, pick up the flowers, we're really big into just suspending your disbelief that you are in this world. You can play in third person as well. Um, so we have a new animation system, which looks great. Um, a lot of people like to do this, something we spend a lot of time on as well. Um, I, I mean, is, are, are, are you guys just a little bit crazy when it comes to putting those flowers all on the ground? <laughs> um, we are crazy. We have a really big team of amazing people at Bethesda, the group that did more, went Oblivion, then Fallout 3. And after Fallout 3, we jumped on this, and we just wanted to make, you know, hey, let's throw the stone as far as we can. And then, so you have um, a sort of a new AI system as well. We do. We have uh, this new system called Radiant Story that makes the game dynamic for you. What we're showing here is um, you can swing. Your right trigger does your right hand. The left trigger does your left hand. Um, you can hotkey items. So I'm putting a healing spell on my left hand. So you are who you play. You want to play like a battle mage, you just do it. You don't have to pick some character in the beginning. You can put that spell in either hand. So right trigger and then left trigger. What's really cool is if you pull both triggers at the same time, you're going to get a bigger, more powerful version of that spell. Um, up here, this is new. These are called uh, the Guardian Stones. These are standing stones in the game that you'll find, and they help you define your character by kind of having the stars bless you with a special power. You can only have one of these at a time. So this one right here, the Warrior Stone, is going to make all of your warrior skills increase faster. But so this is not something that you pick in the beginning of the game. This is something that nope. happens along the way. No, you find them as you play. These three are kind of the basic ones. You find them uh, very quickly. All right, let's hope we have some combat here. We got some wolves here. And as you do things, you know, using your sword, using your shield, you're just going to get better at those things automatically. Your skills are going to go up, and then every skill you increase is going to make you push more toward leveling. Uh, this is cool. First time we're showing it, the game's interface. Um, so it has four different sections, and you can look at all of the items, and we have thousands of these things. And what's really cool is they're all 3D. You can look at them, zoom them around, um, see like what kind of culture made these, and our artists just went to town. I mean, literally thousands of objects, right down to the these elven helmet, um, the food you pull off creatures, pork or meat here, um, there's salmon. And you can cook those things and they become better. Um, just the level of detail that we go to is, is, is astounds even me. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I like the fact that we're teaching kids if you cook your salmon, it will on the whole It's taste better, better for you, yes. And this is the skills menu. So you look to the stars and it's like you have this custom constellation for how you've been playing the game. And what's really cool is when you level up, you get to pick a perk. So each of these is actually a perk tree as well. And then as you play, it's drawing this constellation for you. So just looking at your perks is a lot of fun. And then the map here, it really shows the engine can do. We're just pulling the camera back, and, and there's the world. Wow. Um, back to sort of the, the classes that we saw there, you have taken a new approach with the leveling system where you're not kind of setting yourself on your path before you've started playing the game. Right, you just play and then you get better at certain things, then when you level up, the perks let you define your character even more. This is one of the first towns you come to, Riverwood, um, and here you're going to see some of the dialogue here. And it looks it's like the, the, when you're conversing, if you played Fallout, if you played Elder Scrolls 4, 
camera zooms in, you're kind of looking at it's the It's all real people. time. It's kind of just a trim thing for us now, not to take you out of the game. Um, and you'll see people having jobs. You can do all these things as well. So one of those. So no, I can I can pick up a job too if I think, hey, blacksmithing looks awesome. I can. You can do it. Smithing is a skill. You can improve your weapons. We have a working economy that you can either do. You can actually sabotage this wood mill if you want. Um, so. And so, am I going to be able to participate in that economy? Uh, uh, slightly. It's kind yeah. of you know, we, we it's a light touch, I would say. Right. We have horses as well. Now that so, horse doesn't have yeah. any armor right now. It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> insert all the jokes you want. We'll, we'll sell it later for absorbent subs. Yeah. Um, so horses are a great way to get around the world faster. Yeah. We're riding up into the mountains here, and you're going to see the weather change uh, dynamically. Yeah, now, obviously with, with all this free roaming, sort of, there's always been that ebb and flow from Morrowind to Oblivion of, you know, do, do you allow the enemies to sort of level up with you, or do you, can you inadvertently wander to an area where you have very high level enemies? How have you dealt, dealt with that? It's something we've done differently each time. This works very much like Fallout 3, um, in that uh, there are harder areas, there are easier areas. If you, we do randomize it a bit to keep it interesting based on your level. Here you're going to see the, the biggest mountain in Skyrim, the throat of the world. And at the top of this live the Greybeards. They're masters of the voice. And that's one of the powers you learn. This is one of our uh, dungeons, Bleak Falls Barrow. It's one of our over 150 dungeons in the game. And, and, and here, the ancient Nords used to worship dragons. And they're long lost to the Elder Scrolls. But as you guys know, they're, they're back in this game. And, and these dungeons are hand hand drawn. Yep, There's nothing they're all handcrafted. The whole world is handcrafted. Do you put 150 handcrafted huh? dungeons in? Uh, we spent a long time. Yeah, here you see a dragon coming in. Um, they're unscripted. You know, we don't know what they're going to do. Right. Um, so they're 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 great. You know, they came out way better than we thought they would. And so you know, we were very conservative initially in our design, and now we use them everywhere. We just let them free roam and let them cause havoc. Well, I gotta say, uh, looking at that dragon, I don't think it sounds like Sean Connery. Uh, the people are already shouting "Game of the Year." Uh, no pressure, or anything. No pressure. But no they're pressure already shouting. If you dial those down a little bit, it'd be helpful. It was the, the shot of the salmon and the jerky is what sold them. Like they, they love knowing that. So uh, we, when we last left the game, we were outside, beautiful uh, vista, mountaintop. We had dragons attacking. Now we're in a dungeon. Now we're in a dungeon. We're showing some of the dual wielding here. Again, you can put what you want in your hands. And you are who you play. We got some, uh, you know, the combat is really overhauled. You're going to get some kill moves and things like that. Um, and the constant feedback too. I've noticed, like every action that you do, you're getting a, a, some sort of yeah, some sort know, of affordance on screen. But you know, it's going to tell you, hey, you're getting better at this. Uh, this is a guy you find down in the dungeon who's been caught in the spider web. Oh, wow. He's this thief who's stolen this golden claw that you're after when you come into this dungeon. And it and so, I mean, in, in true, in true uh, Oblivion style, I mean, uh, Elder Scrolls style, can, you can decide if you want to free him, save him, or just nuke him with your right, fire hand. Right, but then he, he's a jerk and takes off, so he gets his. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Love and, it. And then down in here, um, these, this Nordic ruin is, there are Draugr. These are undead ancient Nord warriors who are buried in this tomb. And upcoming, you're going to see me use one of the shout powers. Uh, this is so you use the dragon language and shout, and you're going to do this a lot throughout the game. That's cool. And so now you, you learn the words, but then you have to kind of unlock the power of the words. You do the unlock them by absorbing dragon souls, uh, and there is some of that coming up. Okay. Okay, let's talk dragons for a minute. Your character is a dragonborn. What does that entail? Uh, that means you're born with the soul of a dragon. Uh, that shout you just saw is called Whirlwind Sprint. It allows you to uh, sprint very quickly through uh, dangerous areas. And up kind of here, we're going to show another shout, uh, which is slow time. Oh, wow. All right, so we're fighting this guy here. You can and dual then... wield the spells. I love that. And uh, there we go. Oh, jeez. Wow. And is that, if you That's use awesome. the same spell on each hand, you can use them both at the same right, time. If you pull and those a... triggers, they're going to power that up. You can put wow. staves as well. So we have magical staves. You can. Have two staves if you want, put it in either hand. And it's really nice to light certain areas. And we do use water to kind of guide you through dungeons at times. Um, and so then, that, is that, that's a navigational cue then? As it follow the we just use it as a visual element sometimes because the dungeons can get complicated. Right. Uh huh. Little, beautiful lighting effects, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely yeah, a gorgeous. Our artists game. really have done and how, uh, a how tremendous job. job. How quickly can you assign? Uh, I mean, we saw a menu pop up earlier, but say, if I want to change on the fly, okay, I don't want the axe anymore. I want to switch it to another weapon. You favorite things, mm -hmm. just like you would a web page. You can bookmark items, and then you'll you can use your D-pad to access those quickly. Uh, and what you're seeing here is one of our word walls. This is where you learn the dragon language. Uh -huh. So you you'll kind of uh, take the knowledge from it. 
and then learn this word, and then when you kill dragons, you decide which words you want to unlock, and then use those as shouts. And each shout has three levels. Oh. And it's the longer you hold the, the button, the more words you say. Oh, wow. Here's wow. a dragon priest. They're kind of a high-level boss. And uh, will killing him, will we be able to take his soul then and unlock that shout? Or? He's not a dragon, so I don't oh, absorb his soul. Okay. Uh, but it's just, you know, he's a high-level boss. You're going to get better treasure uh, by defeating him. This is incredible. I, I'm just, I'm in awe watching yeah, these battles already. So good. So there's no, uh, there's no mini mart that we can hop to and just purchase dragon souls in bulk. <laughs> no, and we can't get a no. satchel O dragon souls. Yeah. This spell here is called clairvoyance. So if you get that, it'll actually draw a path to your current objective because our dungeons can get complicated mm -hmm. sometimes. So it's a nice way of guiding the player. Uh huh. And with those shouts, you said that there's three levels. Does that mean we have to use like three souls to unlock those levels, or we just hold it and then it powers up those you'd levels? Have to have, you'd have to have collected three souls to get all three levels. Is that why this game has over three trillion hours of gameplay? Is that? <laughs> oh, we don't know. We have, we have lots of people, hours? good tools. We spend a lot of time. And the games just, they end up big. We want to cram it with stuff. Like, here's the tundra. This is this big, wide open grassland wow. uh, in the middle of Skyrim. And not all the creatures are going to attack you on site. So you have these mammoths who wander the tundra with giants. You see one of our big cities in the distance, White Run. Gorgeous. And you can kind of, you know, walk amongst them if you want, unless you, you know, cause trouble. Now, are these guys on a pre-programmed path, or are they random as well? Are they just roaming the side? Some of them are random. Okay. You know, uh, some of them will set in areas and say, okay, you kind of wander this, and we'll, we'll tell them to go hunt or things like that, and they just, you know, they do their thing. Now, they're walking right next to you, but then if you turn on them, will they try yeah, to attack you? Yeah, I kind of was messing around, so I, you know, I fight <laughs> them, and then they're going to fight back. You're going to see me use another shout, which is fire breath. So the, the, the fire the dragons breathe, you can learn that as well. Really? Now, oh, and then now there, there is one of those yeah. dragons that we're talking about. Yeah, he's back. Uh, he just had a field day. There was some ragdoll physics there. Uh, yeah, what just happened? Did he pick them up? Uh, they can randomly pick up guys. They, we just give them a and lot of behaviors, <laughs> and then they, they do their thing. They can pick up guys do bombing runs. So that's all real time, that's all procedural. This this dragon is acting Correct. according to. Correct. Uh, so what are some of those attributes? Do you, do you tell them how hungry they are for villagers or how much fire they need to breathe per day? Or? <laughs> uh, we give them the same stats a lot of our creatures have and we just give them behaviors and the AI works, they'll decide in the situation, what is the landscape, can I fly around more? Do I need to land, do I need to stomp around? Should I, should I pick this thing up? Um, and here we're gonna absorb the soul of the dragon. All right, so we just defeated the dragon. And then that's going to allow me to unlock other shouts. And here comes another one. Uh, so they can't have multiple dragons at once. You can't? Uh, you, they will yeah. appear in packs sometimes as oh, well. Okay. That was, that's a frost dragon that just arrived. It's a much, much tougher dragon. How is it tougher? Uh, he's harder to kill. His frost breath will not only hurt you, it'll slow you down, drain your stamina. And so dragons, are, are there some dragons that are particularly more aggro towards your character and some that, are, that just want to fly around and just be a dragon? Um, most of them are after you. I don't want to spoil it. It's part of the mystery of the game. Oh, okay. The shout you just saw is Storm Call. It's one of the high level ones where you can call a storm and lightning bolts come down and defeat all your enemies. Oh my god. Todd, when does this come out? It comes out uh, November 11th, 11-11-11. Love it. I love nice. it. Well, it's so gorgeous. Uh, you, guys, you guys like what you saw? I'm, a, I'm assuming that's a resounding yes. I know that was part of a Behind Closed Doors demo, and so again, we can't thank, thank you enough you. for bringing thank it on. That, that Thanks means for having the world me. It's great. Us. We're really excited. Thank Thanks, x That looks so good. Yes. That is Skyrim, folks. Todd Howard.